Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. And I have to let you know that this is not a private reading. Okay? This is for hundreds and thousands of people so it might not resonate with you at all. It may fully resonate. We'll see what happens. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay out the cards. is for the sign of Sagittarius. Just going to make sure this is zoomed in to the best it can be. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Ten of Cups reversed. There's not a lot of happiness at this point for somebody. Somebody's not happy. I'm not sure if it's you, somebody that's in your life. There's not ha Somebody's not happy. Feels like there's some kind of sneaky shit going on. You know, that is probably, you know what this is. There's something sneaky going on. And there could be even a third party situation. Maybe you know about that as well. All right. It feels like um, somebody is resisting a change even though they want a change. Uh, it's time to start something new. All right. It is time. It's time for you to start your new chapter, your new phase of your life. But it feels like you're just waiting. You need that extra nudge, okay? You need that little extra push. And I think you're going to get it. Whether it's this week or you've gotten it already or you're going to get it next week, whenever. You're going to get that push that helps you, um, helps you make the move that you need to make, okay? Put it that way. Um, it looks like good luck is on the way. It is around the corner. So don't give up. Keep doing what you've been doing because it is going to come for you. Good luck, good fortune is going to come with help from the universe, okay? I, th I feel like many of you um, are letting go of the need to control, all right? You're letting go of feeling like this is even in your control. It's like, okay... I'm just going to see what happens, you know, I'm going to I'm going to release the need to control any of this and I'm going to let the universe drive and the universe is going to drive for you, so rest assured. All right? It feels like you've the, the in the love area, the love department of your life has been lacking, okay? There's been a lack of emotional support, a lack of love in your life. But I think that phase is just about over, okay? I feel like you guys are going to start a new phase, but if you have um, or not yet, I'm not sure. But some of you are going to start a major new phase in your life. It, a com completions are here. The strife is just about over for somebody who's watching this. We have the world card and we have the wheel card. Luckily, they're both upright. So this is telling me that good luck is on the way. The worst is over or just about over, okay? There is some shady shit going on. I don't know if that's you or somebody else, but something is going on, all right? Um... And I think you're releasing it. You're releasing the tension, okay? You're releasing whatever this is, that whatever this, this stuff is going on, the, these lies, you're releasing it. It's like, you know what, whatever, whatever. You're refocusing, you have your eye on the goal, and you're heading in that direction, okay? It's like you're really, really focused on the future at this point. You're not looking back. You're not, you know, stuck anywhere. It, it just looks like you're moving forward. You are on the right path. 
and it's on the path to love because you're looking for a soul mate connection and that's what you're looking for so I feel like you know the end of being alone the end of being alone is just about here all right almost it's not here yet but it's almost here and that is going to lead to your wishes being fulfilled in love and a lot of you have been waiting for this for the last year I know you have You've been waiting. You've really been focused on it. You've been focused, 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 focused. But there has been many periods of depression and self-deceit and um, feeling alone, feeling lost, feeling like it's never going to happen, feeling like quitting. Um, there's been a lot of conflicts back and forth, you know, conflicting thoughts. You know, there's been a little, it's been a little chaotic and you've been resisting a change. You've been like staying stuck in some place where it was going nowhere. And it feels like now with the tower card, you know, whatever is false in your life is about to be brought to light. And that's, um, that's from the universe. I consider that being from the universe. The universe, you have, there's a divine, um, connection here. All right. There's divine help, put it that way, okay? Now this is for the sign of Sagittarius. We have an Aries, we have a Scorpio, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which is you. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Just looking to see who else we have. That could be, those people could be at play, all right? Um, but I see the lack of love. It feels like you guys have been lacking in the love department. All right? And you're sick of it. You're ready. You are ready. You've been focused on the goal for a while now. And I think that your change and your good luck and your new chapter is right around the corner. All reversed, and I was been reversing these right along, you know, in here. So that came out, that happened for a reason. Reason. Um, the tension is going to go away. All right. One door is closing so that another door can open. You're letting go of the need to obsess over things. I see that you've let go of something that you were obsessed with, and that's why the world and the wheel is here, because you have let go. It's like you have surrendered. I see that you like have surrendered and you're letting the universe drive. And I have to tell you, the universe is driving at this point. Okay? It looks like everything is going to work out the way you had hoped. There's no more worrying. There's no more juggling. Perhaps um, if there was... You had to make a choice between two people. I think that's over. I think this week you might make your choice. It's the end of your depressive period. It's the end of feeling depressed. It's the end of feeling deceived. Okay, or it's the end of deceit. It's the end of feeling stabbed in the back. It's over. Expect the unexpected, okay? Because something unexpected could happen that changes everything. And it's a good unexpected, okay? This false foundation that's here, it's a blessing in disguise. Whatever's coming to help you, something is coming to help you out. And whatever is coming is a blessing in disguise. It's something that you have been dreaming about. And it felt like this dream was, never, was just a dream and that's all it was. You know, this was just a dream and it, and, and it was never going to come to fruition. For some of you, your dreams are going to come true in regards to love. Because we have this soulmate connection right here. All right. There could be a strong attraction that you didn't know about. Maybe somebody's been attracted to you from afar and you didn't even know about it. Either way, change is on the horizon. Change. 
And you might have to make a decision, a big one. Because with that tower card, it, it brings a lesson as well as the world card brings a lesson. It looks like everything that you've been through was some major lesson. And I think that you've learned it. And it has to do with love. It does have to do with love. And the lack of love that you have received this past year. I think it's the past year. I do. The lack of love that you have received this past year has really taught, taught you something. And I think it's taught you to let go. It's taught you to not hold on so tight. And to let the universe drive. I think it really has. I think you guys have learned something really big. And, you know, this is for the week of November 20th through November 26th. But I think this goes back the whole, the last year, maybe even the last two years. It could have been the last two years where you've been struggling, really, really, really struggling. And you finally decide, you know what? This is never going to happen. So I'm just going to let go. And I'm going to go with the flow. And I'm going to see what happens. And when, that's the lesson. You decide to let go. You decide to go with the flow. You're focused on the goal, but you're going to let the divine work it out. And that's what I see. And I see that because you've done that, I think your happiness is coming back. You're, you're less depressed than you've been in a while. You're not really feeling like a victim anymore. You're just going with the flow. And that is bringing harmony back to your life. Whereas before the last two years, I say two years now because I really think it's two years for somebody. The last two years has been a complete struggle. It's been very imbalanced. Like when earlier when I was talking about conflicting, that's exactly what it was. It was very imbalanced where, you know, one minute you were happy, the next minute it was like near death, you know. So I think that's over with now because I think you've let go. I do. I think you're no longer juggling the thoughts. You're no longer juggling the conflicts. And you're just going with the flow. And because you're doing that, the wheel's going to spin in your favor. You've learned a major lesson and you're about to start a new chapter. So it's about letting go of the past, letting go of a past hurt. You know, it looks like there there could have been a, a relationship that ended maybe even two years ago that you haven't gotten over yet. Could be a year, could be two years. I'm not sure that I think, well, I think many of you have finally gotten over it. You've finally let it go. You've let go of an obsession, that's for sure. I see that. And it's brought you peace. <laughs> it has. It's brought you peace. Yeah, I think there's somebody new. I do with this card right here, the Two of Cups, and now this card. There could be somebody that comes into your life that there's a lot of chemistry. You did it. You, you made this happen by letting go, by surrendering. Surrender. I think many of you have just surrendered. And because you've done that, you've totally let go. You're vibrating more highly. Your vibration is higher. And somebody is attracted to you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Because you've let go, your, attract, your, your attractiveness has really rose it's rose up. When you can let go and surrender, that, that changes everything. You've learned something big because not many people can do that, let go and surrender. So congratulations. You've learned something really, really big. Interesting. Somebody else had this card too. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence in universal order. <laughs> That's just what I got done telling you throughout this whole reading. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to read.
reread it because I, I, I interrupted it. You are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence in universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. That's exactly what's going on. Thank you, Lord. Angel spirits and universe. This is exactly what's going on for you, Sagittarius. You are manifesting this change without even knowing it. Whatever shady shit has been going on, you have let it go. You've surrendered. And because you have, your vibration has raised. And your attractiveness has raised. And somebody is very attracted to you. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing because something, a good, when the wheel comes up, it means something wonderful is about to happen. It's right around the corner. Keep doing what you are doing. So Sagittarius, this is for November 20th through November 26th. Um, if you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video or my let's talks or my group or whatever. I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving if you're in America. <laughs>